Everybody wants to know what time it is. Everybody needs to know what time it is. You have to be somewhere at a certain time. You have to leave at a certain time. A person now knows what time it is even more earlier in life than ever. I bet you every single one of you people have cell phones mm -hmm. and they all have the time on it. Mm -hmm. And you just rely on that. You don't even think that it might be wrong. This kind of occupation probably will always be out there. In a quaint shopping center in Cypress, California, you'll find a place where time never stands still. In 1937, my dad uh, decided to become a watchmaker in England. In 75, we moved on to this street, and I've been here ever since. And my dad just passed away four years ago after uh, um, working at this shop uh, continuously till he was 92. I met Gary in junior high school, seventh grade, 45 years ago, and we've been friends ever since. In the early days, uh, clocks only had an hour hand. They didn't have a minute hand. So when somebody said, be there at eight, you had an hour to get there. Each person in this business has a passion to make sure clocks and timepieces remain in perfect working condition. Day to day, I, I fix clocks like what I'm doing right now. There's a clock over there that I took the works out of. It's on my bench, it's almost all apart, and now it gets, it goes in a cleaning machine. What I do is a, a battery clock, um, which is simply a movement change, like this clock down here. Um, it's a battery change and I just put a new movement in them. I also do the uh, cuckoos. The shop has had many interesting clients throughout the years, including Elvis's former wife, Priscilla Presley. Uh, several years ago, I got a phone call, um, and they wondered if I would do a house call in Beverly Hills. And that intrigued me in itself, but uh, I obviously said yes. And I realized once I got into this house that this wasn't just an ordinary person's house. It was somebody that was famous and uh, come to find out it was Priscilla Presley's house, so it was kind of interesting. And I, uh, I took back to the shop um, three or four of her clocks, which I repaired, and when I delivered the clocks back to the house, she was there, so I got to meet her. While most of us take time for granted, Gary Owen knows how precious time can be. So, uh, I convinced my dad to open up a shop so uh, uh, that's what we did. I convinced him and we opened a shop and it was a struggle, but I think it was worth it. Maybe there won't be like a craftsman like me, but there will always be somebody that has to figure out what time it is. I can't see where we would not want to know what time it is. As you speed by, this small little shop in Cypress, California. Gary Owen wants you to remember one thing. Time is a precious commodity.